Journal Record editor Russell Ray joins us with more stories making news in business this week. Russell, thanks for being with us. It's good to be here, Susan. Thanks for having me. Well, let's get things started at the Capitol. Lieutenant Governor Pinnell says he plans to use the tourism department to push economic development, and he has a prime target for that already, right? That's right. Uh, in the name of economic development, our new uh, Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell is pushing legislation that would raise the rebate cap for filmmaking in the state from uh, four million to ten million dollars. Uh, now the uh, money isn't just used for film productions, it can be used for uh, productions featured on Hulu, Amazon, Netflix, and other similar uh, entertainment outlets. We're told uh, Oklahoma is a great place uh, for these types of uh, productions. Uh, the state has the infrastructure and if it can provide the uh, incentives the state could capitalize on this demand for good film locations. All right, that's great news. Mm -hmm. uh, moving to education, the University of Central Oklahoma has a new leader. Tell us about her. Uh, yes, uh, Patty Newhold has been selected as the 21st president of UCO by the Regional University System of Oklahoma. UCO President Don Betts, who was actually a professor of mine in, in college and is a great teacher, will uh, be retiring June 30th. Newhold is uh, UCO's Vice President for Finance and Chief Financial Officer. Uh, she uh, joined UCO in Edmond in 2007. She has a lot of uh, leadership experience and is known for leading the university through some tough financial times created by less state support and lower enrollments. Some great news for the entire state of Oklahoma my favorite restaurant chain, <laughs> Centered at Oklahoma City is going statewide and even further fill us in. That's right, uh, Cool Greens of Oklahoma City is adding locations in Tulsa, Texas, Boston, and Miami, Florida, to name a few. Uh, cool Greens wants to open 10 new restaurants uh, this year and another 10 restaurants in 2020. It currently has six locations here in Oklahoma City. Uh, with the expansion comes a change in menu options. Uh, the prices are a bit higher, but customers will uh, have more options uh, to choose from. All right, Russell Ray with the Journal Record, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.